Hello! Mira is here as we are going to read Knuffle Bunny Free. Do you remember Knuffle Bunny and Knuffle Bunny 2? Well, here's the third one. And this one is called Knuffle Bunny Free, an unexpected diversion by Mo Willems. We'll start the book with the same pictures. They got married, they had a baby, they got a house in New York. Then she washed Knuffle Bunny and said her first word, got her first best friend. Hmm. What adventure will she have with Knuffle Bunny this time? Let's find out. One day, not so long ago, Trixie took a big trip with her family. They were on their way to visit Trixie's Oma and Opa in Holland. Holland is far away. So they, that meant taking a taxi to the airport, waiting in line, watching Knuffle Bunny go through the big machine, waiting some more, and finally getting onto a real airplane. On the plane, Trixie played and read, do you recognize that book? And slept. Before she knew it, the plane had landed. Trixie and her family left the airport and got on a train to go to Oma and Opa's house. Welcome, Trixie. Oma and Opa were so happy to see Trixie. Soon, Oma and Opa, Oma and Trixie were drinking cold glasses of chocolate milk in the garden. Suddenly, Trixie realized something. <gasps> Trixie didn't tell her daddy that Knuffle Bunny was gone. She didn't have to. <gasps> Did daddy realize it too? Look, daddy realized that Knuffle Bunny is gone. Trixie's daddy called the airline and asked them to look for Knuffle Bunny on the plane. But the plane had left for China. China is very far away. Look at her eyes. She's nervous. Trixie's mommy hugged her and asked her to be brave. Trixie's daddy told the story of when he was a little boy and said goodbye to his special lammy. Oma gave Trixie another glass of chocolate milk and remarked on how big she was getting. Trixie understood. She was getting bigger. Even she wished, sorry, even if she wished she wasn't. The next morning, hold on, Trixie tried to enjoy going to the cafe and the swings in the playground and the carnival that was in town. So, lots of things to enjoy. She's having trouble enjoying them. And while the whole week was filled with fun things, like eating french fries on the street, visiting real windmills, and feeding the ducks, Look, she's starting to have some fun. Trixie was still sad. She missed her Knuffle Bunny. Oma and Opa understood. Oma and Opa had a plan. Hmm. Let's see what Oma and Opa's plan is. They're sneaking in somewhere. That night, they had a surprise for Trixie. A brand new top of the line Funny bunny wunny doll extreme. It could walk. I can speak. It could speak in Dutch. I can dance. It could dance. But it couldn't make Trixie feel any better. Trixie was sure that she wouldn't be able to sleep another night in a strange bed without her knuffle bunny. But before she knew it, 
she was dreaming. Let's see what she was dreaming. She dreamed of Knuffle Bunny and all the places he would visit. Knuffle Bunny's busy in China. She dreamed Knuffle Bunny. She dreamed of all the children Knuffle Bunny would meet. Ooh. Mama, let me see. Okay. She dreamed of how her Knuffle Bunny would make them feel better. Here, I'm going to show them the pictures too. Is Knuffle Bunny doing a good job making children feel better? <laughs> what a happy dream! The next morning, Trixie felt better. Trixie had a big breakfast. She played with Oma on the playground swings. She even tried a sip of Opa's coffee at the cafe. It was a great day. Ah, oh, this one! Before she knew it, the trip was over and it was time to go home. Trixie hugged Oma and Opa as hard as she could. Look at those big hugs. When then Trixie and her family got back onto the train and back onto the plane and listened to the crying baby as the plane lifted off. But can you believe it? Right there on that very plane, Trixie noticed something. What is it, Mira? What's in there? think it is. Knuffle Bunny! Trixie was so happy to have Knuffle Bunny back in her arms. There it is. Happy enough to make a decision. Trixie turned around and said, would your baby like my Knuffle Bunny? Really? asked the baby's mother. Really? asked Trixie's daddy. Really? asked Trixie's mommy. Plaggy, plaggy, asked the baby. Really? said Trixie. She was big enough. The baby was happy. The baby's mother was thankful. Trixie's parents were proud. And the other passengers were relieved. Were very the baby relieved. Got the yeah, the baby has a Knuffle Bunny, huh? And that is how, a few weeks later, Trixie received her very first letter. The end. Did you like that book? Yeah. There's a little note to Trixie at the back. It says, a note to Trixie. Trixie, I hope to watch you grow up, fall in love, start a family, and be happy. And I hope that one day, many years from now, you'll receive a package from an old pen pal. Love, Dad. Is that Trixie? Yeah, Trixie's the mommy now. Trixie's all grown up as a mommy. What did you think of that book? Is that pretty special? That bunny was important to Trixie and very special to Trixie. Was she little? She was little. But she gave the bunny to a baby. A baby that needed the bunny more. I think Trixie's pretty sweet. What do you think? No. <laughs> no? I think Trixie's sweet. 